Hey guys, and welcome to the Bind View. Hope you guys are all doing well. I do apologize for this video being out late. We have released a couple of short videos and obviously the video earlier this morning. Um, but we are here for Vincent Company's press conference uh, reaction. Uh, and that's what we're going to be doing later on tonight. I mean, later, later. Um, we are going to be doing the preview. I will do that live um, on stream for you guys. Uh, and also at 8 p.m. tonight on True Gunas channel. We're going to be doing the second episode of the Football Rival, Football Rival Show uh, over on his channel. Obviously, we do it every single week. Uh, one Once on my channel, which obviously was the first episode, episode two on his channel, so on and so forth. So next week will be on my channel. Um, so yeah, big up to everybody. Uh, I plan to I plan to obviously make this video go on his channel later uh, and then just chill with the family until later, um, to be quite honest with you, obviously going into the weekend. So I'm excited for this game, though. I'm hoping that company isn't going to say some stupid shit um, to piss me off, but it is what it is. Let's see. Smash the thumbs up if you haven't already. Comment, subscribe uh, if you haven't already as well. Check out the socials. Thank you for the constant support. I have been uploading on TikTok um, uh, as well as obviously doing the YouTube shorts uh, for you guys on uh, the channel. Let's get into this. I'm rambling. Uh, Mr. Rambler here. Um, let's get into this particular video. Right. Bosh. Like so, here we are. Vincent Company did his press conference at 10, uh, nine hours ago, and Liam's smelly old ass is only doing it now. <laughs> Let's go. Right. So first thing he said, um, which is absolutely fantastic, is that uh, Jamal Muziala uh, will not be available tomorrow. Um, same with Upper. Uh, we still have to wait. Otherwise, everybody else come back fit from the international break. Which is hella, 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 hella annoying, um, to be honest with you. Jamal Maziala not being available is annoying. We need him available. Um, we really, really do. Then company got asked about um, the clown that was last manager, Thomas Tuchel. Uh, he said, Thomas, uh, obviously being the England manager, so on and so forth. Why, why are they asking him? Like, no one gives a shit about Thomas Tuchel. The fact that I have to speak about him on my buy-in channel, again, is a fucking joke, by the way. But anyway, he was asked a question. I need to speak about, I need to react to what the manager has to say, unfortunately. Uh, he said, Thomas has a very high uh, reputation in England, so I'm not surprised that he landed a top job there. Fair enough. And I also like the fact that he said very high reputation in England. Yeah, because everywhere else he's been shit. Um, fuck Thomas Tuchel every single time. Then, uh, oh, I'm not speaking about Thomas Tuchel again. Fuck what Max Ebel's got to say. I don't care. Uh, company then spoke about Stuttgart. He said Stuttgart have shown what uh, they're capable of. Uh, when you look at their games, they're always, uh, they always want to play their way. Uh, they um, always apply a lot of pressure and uh, want to play uh, their way through. Um, then he goes on to say they're a, they're a good team. Hopefully it will be a good game. Um, they've done very well. Uh, they've done very good work in recent years. Uh, their players have grown. It's good for us that uh, we uh, get to play against teams like them, which I do agree with. Uh, and it's going to be a big clash. It really, really is. Because obviously um, we, we, we're going to have... Um, what's it, McCall? We'll um... Uh, I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Uh, obviously, uh, Sebastian Hun is coming back, and obviously, he finished second in the Bundesliga. That that had that can't be taken away from him. You know what I mean? So it's mad, uh, and I'm looking forward. Right then, um, company on uh, Hiroki Ito having uh, stopped training. He said it's normal um, for a player who had surgery in preseason. Sometimes uh, you go uh, a step backwards to uh, to then make two steps forward. It uh, was nothing bad uh, and won't uh, change much for him. Um, so it's just a stumble, basically, uh, which I, I I agree with him. Then company on the last winless games, he said, we're playing against Stuttgart tomorrow. Obviously, we've analysed the last few games. It's important. Uh, the important thing is um, always the question of how often we'd win if um, played the, the games 10 times. OK, uh, we want to improve uh, details. We 100 percent believe uh, that we can have success this way. Uh, that's why we're looking forward to the next game. Well, your players need to perform, mate. Simple, simple as because otherwise people are going to be coming for your head. Um, we're Bayern Munich. We're not fucking Arsenal. Anyway, let's continue. 
Uh, if you haven't already, please do smash the thumbs up. Then he was uh, he was asked about his defensive line and whether he can he's considering um, being you know have a different approach. He said I've uh, already answered the question. Uh, we're usually very pragmatic uh, in Belgium, uh, a bit like the Germans. It's not uh, about belief, but uh, about analysts. Uh, before I read the rest, by the way, did or did not Karls Hans Rummenegger yesterday say? We will not tell company what to do. So why are the media trying to tell him what to do? Oh, so stupid. Um, but he went on to say we had a lot more chances than our opponents. Of course, we have uh, to uh, optimise that. Um, if you stay objective, it would be stupid to change everything just because the result didn't work out. Uh, we believe that we will win a lot of games in the future in this way, basically attacking. Then uh company was asked about Yuri Honis and Carl's Romanega uh, and the fact that he was praised by them. He said, I received uh, that with a lot of respect. Uh, I understand how important these people are. My focus is on uh, is only on the players. If compliments or criticism come, that's not a priority in my world. So basically, he received it. He respects you know them them you know as as people you know obviously how important they are to the club so on and so forth but he's basically just focused on his job uh which i i agree with um then unfortunately he was asked about Leroy Sane uh but he was asked about Leroy Sane's fitness he said i can imagine that we will see a top Leroy Sane in the coming weeks his minutes will come uh he will show how good he is there's no time pressure right hold up 5 seconds my man okay cool his time, will, his minutes will come. If his minutes will come, then Yao Polinia's minutes better fucking come as well. Because I'm not having half a season Carlito in my club stinking up the joint when Olise could have that game time or somebody else could have that game time. Yet you won't go and then play the player that we spent 50 million on. Enough said. Right, then... Um, Peter Griffin started speaking on Leroy Sane uh, and his future. He said the most important thing uh, now is that he, uh, he can show what he can do on the pitch again. We're in talks with his agents. Uh, we'll announce a decision when there's something to announce. Yeah, please don't announce him. Let him just let him go. He's shit. Absolutely diabolical. Then company was asked about uh, Alexander Noble. He said we obviously got uh, an eye on him, like um, all the other players that are out on loan. We're following his progress out of respect for tomorrow's game. It's important to accept that he's Stuttgart's number one and that Mamonoy is ours. Bosh! Bosh! That's what needed to be said, man. That's what needed to be said. None of this bullshit that he's the successor, man. Fuck that shit. Neuer is our number one. Done. Simple. Uh, he said we're pleased um, he's doing so well. Yeah enough said and uh, that is that so let me know what you think on what the managers had to say uh do you agree with anything i've said do you disagree if you do the comments are there for a reason let me know smash the damn thumbs up if you haven't already thank you for the constant support on the channel muchly and greatly appreciated and um yeah obviously we will do the preview like i said later i will be on true gunas channel in um a couple of hours at 8 p.m uk time uh and then and then, obviously, like I said, we'll do the preview in a couple of hours after that. Uh, and then, obviously, tomorrow we've got um, – I'll get a video out for you guys. And then we'll obviously do the the stream, the fan cams, so on and so forth. And then we then go into the women's game on Sunday. But, yeah, big up to everybody. Thank you for the constant support. I'm going to go spend um, some time with my family now. Um, so much and greatly appreciated. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, smashed the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't be a bozo. We're here every single day grinding for your guys' entertainment. So please, please, please do that. Uh, and we speak about Bayern Munich, left, right, and center. Uh, all opinions. This is a fan channel, remember. Not just my not just my opinion. But uh, either way, I'm rambling. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Maybe I'll see you on True Goodness channel. Maybe I'll see you uh, later. Um, but yeah, until then, yes, I'm here. Peace out.